Hello everybody, welcome to the Original Storytellers Podcast, episode number two. I'm your humble host, Steven Tallison. Today we're gonna talk to your boy Norms. His name is Norman and he's from Shanta, Arizona. He's a YouTuber that has a big following on the res and he got fans from all over the world. They send some cool stuff. And today we're gonna talk about, you know, his tips, tricks, how he got started on YouTube and where he's going from here and what kind of cool stuff he's up to. And his channel is about uh, re reviews, his daily life and just random stuff he does on the res. He's a wonderful friend of mine and let's go, yeah, let's go talk to him. Yo, Yo. what is up, man? What up, Steven? How you doing, man? Doing pretty good. I got you uh, sporting that Steelers gear. Yeah, man, always sporting it, bro. You know it, man. <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah, this is Norm. Yeah, just, uh, um, yeah, go ahead and introduce yourself. And, uh, yeah, just talk about All right, well, um, Yeah. All right, then. Well, what's up, guys? Um, my name is Norman Leslie, a.k.a. your boy Norm's Vlogs. Um, originally from Pinyon, Arizona, but I reside in Shanta, Arizona, and I make vlogs around the reservation and have free time. Other than that, thanks for having me on the podcast. Wait, wait, um, hey, Norm, dude, uh, are you uh, connected to Wi-Fi? Yeah, bro, I am. I'm working on the Wi-Fi right now. Oh, yeah, I was kidding. Pixelated. Um, I'm going to call you back, okay? Let me try it one more time. Okay, then, I'm going to try it again. Yeah. Hey, all right. It's a little better. <laughs> How's it looking up? Yeah, I'll do. Uh, you're on the res, so it's kind of like... A little better than before? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, dude, so um, how, how are you holding up right now with the whole... Shit, uh, man, the res has... Sorry, bro. You already know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, hey, uh, do you think your phone... Uh, What's that, bro? Do you think your phone... Um, your phone cellular data will work better? No, dude, I got like one bar here at the house, dude, and like oh, Verizon sucks yeah, at here as well. Yeah. Dude. No, no, I, I, I feel you, man. So, like, uh, oh, we, we can try it, man. Let, let, let me put on the, the data. Okay. Okay, this is with the data right now. <laughs> Maybe could you see okay, hopefully it won't cut off somewhere, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, okay, it's yeah. pixelated. <laughs> That's all good, though. I think it's just, well, I was interviewing uh, Ernie earlier. And uh, yeah, he became like pixelated too, kind of like that, kind of towards the end. Shit, bro. Let, let me go back to the Wi Fi, man. I don't know what you're saying, bro. So oh, I'm okay. To... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll make it work, bro. Okay, man. So, uh, yeah, dude. So, how how you I holding up? I can see you pretty good. I'm doing pretty good, man. Just, you know, the COVID 19 has been missing with my hours at work. But other than that, it's the same thing, different day. Yeah, so like in your area, like, uh, is it getting like locked down and stuff? Or like, what's going on? Like, like they closed and stuff. Yeah, dude, over here at the store. <laughs> the Navajo Nation, like, what, 500 cases so far with 18 deaths? So, over here at the store, dude, we're just limiting people that come in. So, we've got about 10 people coming in, staying six feet apart, practicing social distancing, laundry mat, two to seven people at a time. And it's just crazy, man. It's the pandemic. Man, so, so like, uh, with, uh, with that, like, are you seeing the shortages on, like, toilet paper and all that? <laughs> no, nah, man. I mean, surprisingly, man, it hasn't slowed down. It's been pretty consistent. It's been pretty steady every day. It's just people are coming into the store getting their essential items, you know? It's the same. Yeah, okay. Well, that's, that's good. So, like, what, what, what do you think, like, uh, like get, nomination got hit so hard? Like... Well, you know, I, I think that, you know, it's just, uh, it, it just starts one person, you know, one person can cause an avalanche, basically. And then with that one person, you know, it just spreads everywhere like wildfire. And I think that it's just a pandemic that's going to pass over within time. And it's just one of those plagues, you know, hopefully that during the summertime, this will all be done. And it's just mind boggling. I'm speechless about it, man. It changed our daily lifestyle. You gotta go in the public, wear your gloves and mask, and seen a bunch of customers do that so far, and it's just—it's insane, man. I'm speechless. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Yeah, dude. Like, like everything getting shut down, like in the Phoenix and everything, bars, uh, movie theaters. You know, just like uh, 
just it's messed everything up. Now I'm just like stuck inside, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a podcast. You know, all this time. Yeah, that's a good idea, just, bro. Keep just talk to all, <laughs> talk to all the native entertainers out there and stuff. So like, yeah. So let's just um, yeah. Let's talk about you, man. You got you got this successful YouTube channel. You know, like over a couple of thousand subscribers. Got a loyal fan base right there. They're commenting on your stuff. And a lot of people's been with you since high school. So yeah. like. And, yeah. Um, yeah, man, I was just, uh, so how did you uh, start out with the channel and stuff and what give you the idea of doing YouTube? Well, dude, man, to be honest, I, uh, YouTube, I didn't even know what it was back in 2010, right? Yeah. So people were talking about YouTube. And, you know, MySpace was popular back then with I Like and Bebo, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I was never into social media. Like I said, that's not for me. You know, I'm not going to get into that. Yeah. So I, I created a MySpace page back in 2010, and that's when I seen people share videos from YouTube. And back then, you know, videos on YouTube were just like, you know, voiceovers, people doing voiceovers on uh, cartoon characters yeah. and stuff, and it's pretty funny stuff. And the Jigsaw Falls, you know, that stuff, Leave Britney Alone, oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Chocolate Rain Voice guy, like yeah, that was Yeah, yeah dude, okay, that's classics. <laughs> so like... I was like, there's no Navajos on here. That's what I thought to myself. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Let me create a channel. Back then, I was known as Norman8031. That's a fun fact. Nobody knows that, probably except for you and whoever's going to watch this podcast. Yeah. I was known as Norman8031. That was my jumpstart. So I was all thinking, okay, I got my channel set. Now, what am I going to post? Zero subscribers, right? This yeah. is 2011. This is 2011 right now. You know, I want to say like June 2011. It was school out my sophomore year yeah. and I was with a buddy of mine. We were going to a teacher's house that was having a little going away party. So she invited most of the students I wanted to come. It was like, you stay the night there. You can play games all night on her Wi-Fi and then just drink monster, cook marshmallows outside, you know, the s'mores. So I said, you know what? Let's get that on film. I was like, That's something people want to see. I was thinking that. So I had a big ass iPad, bro. <laughs> I started <laughs> my videos on a first gen iPad. A first gen iPad. <laughs> I give myself props for that, man, because that was a shitty ass camera. I was shooting 720 HD video. I forgot whatever that was called back then. But I was like with a big iPad coming to the party with it, right? <laughs> yeah. So I had one dude that wanted to be in the video with me. His name is Blake. Shout out. He, he gave me a haircut for my YouTube channel. Um, he's the one that knew all about YouTube. So he said, you know what, Norm? Just hold the camera like this and just talk. Just walk around. Show, 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 show people. And don't be embarrassed of the camera. The camera loves you. So I never forgot that from that day on. So I rode with the man. And then here, that's when it came out pretty good. But... I forgot to press record. Oh. <laughs> yep. Oh. So I just did a recap the next day with him oh. at Bashes, which is called Unoriginal. And it's still on my YouTube channel today. Just, you know, go to my very first upload. It's called Unoriginal. You'll see that video. And I just started rolling with it from there, man. Dude, dude that's crazy. So, so like, you got, you got, you got rolling. Then, like, when, when did, when did it start picking up? Or, like, people are like, seeing your stuff and like um man i want to say it started picking up when i started getting the school involved man i started doing the pet rallies the parades and that's what really got it going because the principal found out and all the staff the faculty they found out about youtube so they started subscribing and they started viewing it so it was like an overnight sensation right but I want to say the one that really just took it off, like it just it flew overnight, was the You Know Your Navajo. Oh, uh, yeah. Part yeah. one, dude, I put that up within four days that it was at 20,000 views. Oh. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I that's mean, what, I, mean, that's what I, really I remember watching off. that. No, no, I was like, I was on YouTube too, like around that time. And I was like, yo, these videos are funny. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was yeah. crack, you know. I remember that. Back in the day, man, there's some good stuff. I was just like, these guys. I did four parts of it. Four parts. Yeah, yeah, I watched all of them, man. It's, <laughs> it's funny. It's true. It's original. It's, funny. Man. it's relatable. Yeah, yeah, it's relatable. It's original. It's like, 
it's like just just like uh just i don't know like like you said there's not that much like youtube navo youtubers and when you put it out that was pretty funny so like uh how did you come up with the whole concept anyway uh for the you know your navo yeah yeah, yeah. well to be honest um like i said this is like 2012 now yeah. i'm fast forwarding the years and i started subscribing to people watching youtube videos and there was a guy named Super Ego. I don't know if you probably oh, the seen Mexican his videos. Guy, right? Mexican yeah, 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 man. yeah. Him and us. Oh, hold on, bro. My dogs are burning. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is so bad. <laughs> 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 hey, chill out. <laughs> Nana, lead out. Get over here. <laughs> you guys gotta chill out. I'm trying to do a podcast. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Yeah, it's my house dog. They got dogs over there. <laughs> Not my kids, but I got dogs. There's some kids. Lead that, lead that. All right, I think they're done. Oh shoot, what was that, man? Are you just talking about like like how you came up with that concept? Oh, yeah. so for the concept of the you know you're now with um, that guy ego. Yeah. Uh, he did you know you're Mexican if right? Yeah. I so saw I was too, like man. that's. That's similar yeah. to Navajo. I was thinking, I said, we can do that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I had a buddy of mine, uh, Winnie, and um, what's the other guy's name? Wilfred, right? So yeah. I jumped on that with them because they were willing to be in the video because I always ask people to get their permission to be in the video yeah. so they won't be like this, you know, when I break up the yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah. So we said, you know what? Let's jot some ideas that we were in Phoenix on a field trip and for FFA. And we say, you know what? We can get this done. We can shoot this here at the field trip, but just not during the festivities. So that's when we shot everything, and it was it's funny, bro. Uh, like, I had some good actors for that. That was, dude. That was original, man. I was like, oh, these guys. So, yeah. <laughs> so that, but you that, know, you kind of uh, it, it was fun. I liked it, dude. Then you guys transitioned from like, well, it was like you just went from like these cool like. You know your if to like this kind of a vlog follow. Yeah, yeah so that is true. That yeah. is true. Um, after the skits were done, they yeah. graduated because they were two years ahead of me. Oh, okay. So I was alone for the YouTube world. I was like, damn. So I, those guys ain't here. Ain't nobody gonna make content with me. I was thinking that. Yeah. So I started doing, I guess, vlogs. You could say yeah. during my senior year, yeah. I was just filming random shit, me having fun at the skate park. You know, just um. Me doing the parade, me becoming homecoming king. I yeah. filmed everything, I posted together, and it, it became a vlog. I don't know if that was vlog, but like, like early, was around, early but... form of vlogs, right? Some... Yeah, that's what yeah. it was. So I got into that. It was like it was yeah. like it was like before you did vlogs before it was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, I was yeah, like yeah, the yeah. original vlogger before yeah. vlog was a fucking vlog. Yeah, I had yeah, so yeah, many yeah. people. A lot of people tell me that, bro. Like people that watched yeah. my shit back then. They say, Norm, you're the OG for the vlog game. I was like, you know what? You're kind of right about that. Yeah, you know? yeah. Then you yeah. see kind of like this, uh, what, like the surgeons of like these native vloggers, right? That just seem to like just burst in the scene kind of recently. Yeah, like yeah. I kind of paved the way for them, but I really don't want to say that. But in yeah. that sense, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of, kind of just like then. I noticed like you, uh, you kind of grabbed them all together. Like you guys are all like in each other's videos now. And stuff kind of like uh let's see uh natalie franklin and stuff and she's she's kind of up there and he has this like then you had that one big gathering of the, of the, of the vloggers yeah dude that was here yeah. over at my house and yeah. we did the native youtubers uh thanksgiving yeah yeah there was more people that were supposed to show up that day not everybody knows this but i'm telling you whoever's watching this yeah. there was supposed to be at least four more other or five more other People were supposed to show up, but they had other stuff to do, and they got busy in their own time. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, is, we should go see your uh, your wall, dude. My wall? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. I'm unplug the charger real quick. I'm charging my phone. Oh, you me. are. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go talk about. It's your all wall, good. Man. It should be done. You're, uh, all right. Let me show you guys my my wall. <laughs> Yeah, man, so ever since that video blew, man, like, I had more signatures and more people coming by just to sign this wall, dude. It's, dude. it's crazy. They actually want to do this. 
that's still i mean okay. that, that's unique too you know because like because it's like you know i mean i feel like natives like we don't get that much attention media and stuff and like now we're just yeah our own thing because i know um this wall it was something i thought of right yeah because i watched a lot of um viva la bam growing up right oh yeah 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 viva i remember this bam. one episode <laughs> What's that? No, Viva La Bam, dang, man. I was going back. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, I, I had an awesome childhood, bro. Yeah. We grew up with all the good shows. <laughs> so, I remember Bam Margera having something like this in his house, but it wasn't a wall. It was on a t-shirt. He had it in a picture frame. And Steve-O, when he did uh, MTV Cribs Jackass, uh, he had a wall of fame of his own so that's when i said you know what i said let me let me have that myself yeah, yeah so that's yeah. when i got this right here Dude. so i can't flip the camera around but i'll just bring yeah. it up closer so, so here. wait wait you should go through each of them like i go up to the top like, okay uh, yeah. so the, this is my most recent signature yeah. right here this is uh he's a native rapper okay his name is vermont Yazi, aka arrows he uh, gave me his um, his CD right here. He signed it and he signed the wall. Yo, yo. Yeah. So that's pretty cool, man. I went to school with this guy too. Oh, okay. And this is Kay Alcino. She was here for the Thanksgiving vlog. Okay. Right here. And of course, yours truly. I had to get on there that night. Yeah. So <laughs> I signed it. And I got my newspaper. This is my little 10 seconds of fame right here. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I got to mention it once. <laughs> and a, a buddy of mine works in Phoenix at the car wash. He details cars. Yeah. And one of the Steelers players was there getting his BMW waxed. And he got me an autograph. Yo. This is Robert Golden, number 21, the strong safety. And he put it out to your board on his vlogs. <laughs> and he put a big Steelers on the bottom. So that's, that's cool, bro. That's, that's cool. I was so happy when he showed me that. He mailed it to me, too. So, And Deanna Rogers right here. Yeah. She does a lot of hiking and adventure videos. Sticker Chief. He makes all of my stickers. Shout out to Sticker Chief, too. And uh, Christmas, a.k.a. Christy, was here doing the Thanksgiving vlog. She signed that. And, of course... Uh, Cody Dayish, and I got James Jones, uh, Eric Treviso, and all the actors in the movie Parole. I had them sign this, but they haven't shown up here yet. But I'm okay. hoping after all this blows over, I could have at least Cody Dayish and Eric Treviso here. And of yeah. course, James Jones. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, for sure. Awesome. And Natalie Franklin, of course, right here. Um, she was here for the Thanksgiving vlog. She signed it. And. Uh, I have Mikey Jr.'s YouTube Adventures right here. Uh, okay, that's what's up, dude. Yeah, nice. he signed this one, and this is a he's a, he takes a lot of pictures on the res. Yeah. He's a, famous on Instagram. He's got like four thousand followers. It's yeah. underscore four or he signed my wall. Yeah, and this is his picture that he took. I haven't hanged it up yet because I ran out of thumbtacks, but uh. this is his picture, and he signed it again. Awesome, bro. Awesome. And I got this one from Australia. I have a subscriber. His name is Matthew Lays. He sent me um, some Australian football jerseys, Yo, so that's pretty cool. That's See that? Australia? Yeah, bro. Hey, and he sent me a dude, gift card. Dude, that's awesome, man. Yeah, and I had to fans, put bro. Kobe Bryant up here because... A subscriber gave this to me at the store. Yeah. Um, he was here during the game when they were playing the Wizards. Yeah. And he bought this at the gift shop in LA. And in the back, I, if I take the picture out, yeah. it's officially NBA stat with the year and date and who they played. And he was going to get his signature, but he said that he didn't. Um, he went to the locker room after the game was done, so he didn't get a chance to get the signature. Uh, but this is legit, bro. That from Dude, 2001. That's crazy. And of course, this is one that I'm going to make a vlog on. Sierra Johnson signed my newspaper. Yo. I sent this to her, and she sent it back to me with her signature. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this one needs to go on the wall somewhere, <laughs> so I have to make a video on yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Dude, Dude so like, uh, when you move... That's it. Like when you yeah, move, man, what, so what, that's what, the what do do? Taj Mahal. <laughs> Taj Mahal. 
So like when you head out and move from your from your place, like how are you gonna take that? Are you can take that wall with you, so you can cut it out. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I mean, that's what people were saying. They're saying like, when you move, are you gonna cut out the drywall and take it? With you? <laughs> yeah. I, <don't> know. <laughs> I would. <laughs> So like, Every um, person that said that when they signed the wall, like, bro, are you sure it's going to be here? It's like, man, I'm going to take a picture of it and then I'll probably just paint over it. I was saying that, but I don't know. I'm going to take yeah, something. Yeah, dude, that's dope, though. So, so like, your fan base, like, do they go are they uh, all over the world or something? Or? Yeah, man, pretty much. You know, like, uh, all native YouTubers, so we all just, we support each other every way that we can. So, I mean, they knew about me, which is crazy because I didn't think big names, like, um, Natalie Franklin or big names like um, rappers like my boy Jermontson or even Instagram people like him I didn't yeah. know they knew it so it got around dude so so like you, you have fans in Australia oh yeah fans in and like, then I got some in China Beijing China. they have them on Snapchat and Yo, I see their site like, yeah cool. it's crazy cool. bro so like uh, they, they, they send you like kind of like like letters or sometimes something or like yeah, like this picture of Kobe Bryant. Yeah. I got this locally. This is from a local fan. Okay. Australia, that's the couple of football jerseys that I got. And from China, uh, this guy was supposed to send me some Chinese snacks from the convenience store. Yeah. But since the coronavirus <laughs> going on, he kind of house off the chance it because Man. I was like, I don't want that road up, bro. Don't send me that road up. Just <laughs> <laughs> So probably after all this blows over, he'll send me some oh, snacks. Man, dude. Yeah, man, this coronavirus sucks, dude. Like, it's been messing everything up. Yeah, it, it messed with my hours too, dude. That's why I'm just chilling right now. Yeah. So, so like, um, are you a central worker? Or just a like, central worker? Yep. At yeah. its finest. So are you wearing? Are you wearing like like gloves and a mask right now or something, or just? No, not not in my house because I know there's nothing in here. Oh but no, I mean, as soon as I. Step as soon as I go to the store, yeah, I do. Oh, okay. Man, mm -hmm. dude, that, that's insane. Well, so, so like, with your uh, your YouTube, like, uh, you started out with an iPad. Now you're, like, now you have this kind of a, a Canon camera or something. <laughs> I know, man. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm filming on an iPhone 11 Pro Max. Oh, okay. Yeah, a bunch of people think I'm using some fancy camera, but yeah. every video that i put out yeah. it's always been on an iphone camera regardless Dude. so it just it yeah. just goes to show you right it's not about the equipment it's about the content exactly man like you can just film with what's in your pocket man you can take great videos because nowadays phones are coming stock with like shooting 4k and 15 megapixels yeah. and all that stuff so you don't need a fancy camera yeah so so like um so what's your whole like any projects coming up? Or are you just gonna do the blog the vlog stuff or just like uh are you gonna do any collabs here soon or something or Yeah, um I had like like I said, um with this wall behind me, I had three other people that are supposed to come through, but this virus just blocked everything from people coming over. I was supposed to have Michael Balseric here at the house signing the wall. Oh, okay. Natani means he's a rapper, yeah, I don't know yeah. if you heard of him. Yeah. And um, that that skinny tall guy, I forgot what his name was. Tatanka means or something like that. Oh, you mean uh, yeah, yeah, Tatanka. Yeah, so those dudes are supposed to swing by on during the summertime to sign the wall and oh, get them okay. on the vlog, but that didn't happen. So now my collaborations are just out the window for now. But now I'm just doing you know vlogs at home. Like I said, I got this newspaper I have to talk about, so that's gonna be an upcoming vlog. Yeah. Dude, yeah. that's awesome, man. So, so like, uh, with your channel growth, like, when did, when did, uh, what changed to like make it grow extremely well? Like, I know it was pretty, pretty, pretty good. I was sitting at what, like, two thousand followers, and just shot up to like what, like almost six thousand right now. Yeah, right now I got about four thousand five hundred and fifty subscribers. Yeah, that's almost awesome. about five thousand. Yeah, dude. So it's it, it, it's it's crazy, dude. Like I I never thought I would surpass at least five hundred back in the day. But my biggest regret of YouTube was I took a break after I graduated. Oh uh, yeah. I took two years off and the channel was dead. I lost two thousand subscribers. Yeah, I was at four thousand subscribers in twenty thirteen. 
I got back in the vlogs in 2015 at yeah. 1,900. I was like, oh, I lost so many people. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, so like, okay, when you do a YouTube video, how long does it take you from the beginning until you post it on online? Like, just a, how much energy it, and like, what do you do? It, it, I mean, the editing, like, you, if you ask any native vlogger and they tell you vlogging is easy, they're lying because it's <laughs> it's it's hard, dude. To be honest, man, yeah. you have to brainstorm of a concept to bring your viewers in, and then you say, okay, I got this. I'm going to film this for three hours, okay? I'm going to go home. I'm not even going to touch it till two days later because I'm tired from filming. So you're going to touch it two days later. And for me, just to edit at least a 10 or 15 minute vlog takes me about four to five hours Ooh. because I have to make sure everything's crisp and clean, the spelling's correct, the transition scenes are on point, the music that I use is not copywritten. I have to go through so many files. And once that's done, I post it to YouTube, which takes about 30 minutes or so, or an hour. I want to say it takes about start to finish, at least almost a week before anybody else sees it before I do. Wow, that's that's yeah, so it's, it's hard, dude. Yeah, that's for one vlog. For one vlog? Yeah, that's for one vlog. It takes you a week, right? That's for one vlog. Yep, oh, one man. vlog. Yes. So, like, uh, you uh, you release a vlog like most like one time every week or once every two I, weeks. I try to stay relevant. I want to say once a week, so that means four vlogs in a month. Oh, okay. Yeah. Man. Just uh, coming up with concepts because I know like uh, you found some good concepts like like you and your girlfriend like checking out abandoned buildings and stuff. I was probably <laughs> yeah, cool yeah. idea. Yeah, or run into that that painter dude on the res in Kanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesso Samarama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, yeah, so I mean, this crazy concept, especially like living like like you live in Shanto right now, right? Yep, Shanto. Is that's there. a small ass community, dude. <laughs> There's not much to do around here, <laughs> yeah. bro, except for the store. This is the kick it spot, man. That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like you turn like I don't know this little small place, and you actually made it. You know, like like you you, you found stuff to like film about. You know. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, it's. I just want to thank this wall, bro. This is what's keeping me going. I would say, if it wasn't for this wall, I'd probably be be sitting in my truck or car just vlogging and talking about stuff. You know. And not a lot of people probably won't want to see that, but if they do, you know, kudos to them. Yeah. So, like, um, let's see. Uh, my next question is like, uh, so what? What keeps you motivated to keep doing these videos? Well, you know, what keeps me motivated every day is that I don't forget who I am on the internet because there's you get two Normans, okay? You get two sides of the story on anything and everything. Yeah. So I have an online persona that I have to keep up with, okay? And then you get the Norman that, you know, that you know, Steven, you know the yeah, Norman that yeah. Hunter, that's a different Norman yeah. in person. <laughs> so I got a split personality. So that's what keeps me striving every day that, you know, somebody's got to do it, you know? Because with the, I want to say it's kind of a huge following that I have. I like to have other small YouTubers that are trying to get into the game to give them subscribers and get them the views because I know how it felt starting off with zero subscribers. So I know yeah. how they feel. And I try to help anybody else that they need it. Dude, that's dope, dude. So like uh, the benefits of being on YouTube is like sometimes uh, you get cash, right? Monetary kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's one thing a lot of native YouTubers that are monetized that sometimes they don't want to talk about it. Yeah. But you know, yeah, you do get paid from it necessarily yeah. off of the views and the ads that run on your video yeah. it can be any kind of ads it can be like thai downy it can be car fats it can yeah. be uh protein shakes it can be energizer bunny batteries anything anything you see commercials on tv that'll run on your video yeah then it's not like you're like making bank rats right? just like barely like just anything right i would not say so like the bigger youtubers in the world like jake paul Logan paul yeah, you know, those yeah. guys that get millions oh, yeah, like, yeah those yeah. guys are banking yeah. but you know for us that are getting thousands of views sometimes hundreds it just depends you know like within a month if i do stay cons the fair let me give you an, an example for the fair the time that where i make a good amount of money because a lot of people want to see the fair last year's fair on Wonder Rock alone, just Wonder Rock Fair, 
I made uh, three hundred and twenty dollars in one month. Dude, that's dope. And then the Tuba City Fair and the concerts, all that stuff that I filmed, that one I made three hundred and fifty four dollars and sixty cents. That's in one month. Dude, that's crazy. I mean, yeah. that helps, so you know, like yeah, man. Crazy. I mean, just think about it, man. If I could get that many views every day, I would quit <laughs> my day job. <laughs> so, how many views was that? Like for the, each of those videos. Um, shoot, they're like the Wonder Rock hit fourteen thousand. I think now it's at fifteen thousand now. The the Tuba City one, I think it's at ten thousand or eleven thousand. Yeah. Oh, Navajo T Pain was a good payday, man. Oh, because okay. Navajo T Pain, I got about almost sixty thousand views off of that three minute video. Dude. Bro, I always thank him, like, if I ever see him, I'm going to buy him a 40 or something. Buy him a 40 So, like, um, yeah, so what's, uh, so now you, you get views and then and not only that, you have to, like, account for, like, the time of length they watch it, right? To watch a video? Yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, because on your YouTube channel, you can see where your subscribers left off. It okay. could be five minutes, it could be four minutes. Yeah. That's where you kind of think, okay, I got to get something within that time frame for them to watch it before they click off. Oh, uh, okay. Man, dude, that, yeah. that's just perfect. So, like, um, what is some tips to give, like, young up-and-coming YouTubers, you know, like, what to do, what to watch out for? Well, I would say if anybody's a, a young, inspiring person that's willing to try YouTube is just don't give up, you know? Have faith in yourself and... Rome wasn't built in a day, okay? Because it takes time to get there. Like what Kendrick Lamar said, you know? Like he said, careers take off, you just gotta be patient. So take it from him and me, and don't use material that's not yours. Try to stay original, and don't use music that isn't yours, because you will get demonetized from it, and you will get a copy strike on your channel, which is bad, and it's hard to get it copy strike removal from your channel if you get you only get three chances for that for using music that's not yours yeah. if you pass three your channel is terminated from youtube themselves because somebody's always monitoring that from the headquarters wow and just you know just stay consistent is another thing that's all i have to say to whoever is going to be a next native youtuber <laughs> stay consistent awesome dude so um okay are you like thinking about ever trying to uh, go into like the movie realm? Maybe act or like. Maybe yeah, or... yeah. Um, I know I did. Uh, when I when I met um, Cody Dayish uh, in Farmington. Yeah. Uh, how did I link up with him? How did that day go? I fucking forgot. Um, oh, I was getting this the sound system installed on the truck, the kickers and the JL audio on the speakers. Yeah. Um. Uh. Well, I was Instagram. I was Instagram buddies with him because okay. he knew about my channel. Yeah. And I posted. I was in Farmington. I did a boomerang, and he he DMs me saying, "Bro, you're in Farmington right now." Then I said, like, "Yeah, I am." Then he goes, "How long are you gonna be there?" Then I said, "Probably all day because I barely got here. They're working on the truck for the sound system." Then he goes, "Dude, he's all let me pick you up. He's all let's collab on a video right now." I was like, "No way, bro. Like, are you serious?" Then he goes, "Yeah, man. I'll pick you up. He's like, just wait right there." So I said, okay, then that's all right. So um, he gave me his phone number, so I called him. And that's when I told him my location. He knew where I was at. He came, picked me up. And then that's when he asked me if I, the same question that you just asked me, if I ever thought about being in a uh, film or movies, just yeah. like this one. Then I said, not in my wildest dreams. No, just my vlogging. Then after that, that's when he goes, I know you can act. He was saying that because you do yeah. your vlogs. And yeah. that's just like acting differently. Yeah. He goes, you want to try it? Then I was like, yeah, okay, so let's try it. So that's when we did that skit at Sephora. Um, <laughs> it was a funny skit, like the best skit I've ever been in. And it was hard, dude, to be honest. Acting yeah. is hard, dude. Yeah. Like, you have to be on point. You have to <laughs> do exactly what the director says. It's just insane. I mean, props to all the native actors that act in movies. Yeah, dude. It's, it's hard. We did so many takes. Because <laughs> I kept forgetting to buckle my seatbelt in. Oh, That's what we missed up so many. It was my fault. And I would love to do movies, but yeah. something with a small role, nothing big like what I was doing. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Okay, so like, uh, what's your uh, top three movies? 
of all time. Top three movies. Any movies? Any kind? Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I want to start off with number three. I want to yeah. go with um, a classic, Blood and Blood Out. Oh. Gangsta movie. Gangsta. You know, like, that, that's like Bata my top. <laughs> it's one of my, <laughs> one of my top three. Number two, I want to go with uh, Fast and Furious, the very first one. Oh, yeah. We all wanted to be street racers because oh, yeah, of that movie. Yeah. Um, number one, I want to go with uh, I want to go with Super Bad. Like Super Bad was really really yeah. funny, and it was a part of my childhood when I was in the freshman. Yeah, Dude, so I, I like those three. Man, I, the most quotable movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Dude, okay. I like Naruto. Oh, Naruto. The anime if that counts. Like I watch Naruto every day okay. still. So like, uh, if you're into YouTube, uh. What's your top three YouTube YouTubers like to check out or to look look at you look up to? Is it um, native YouTubers or any YouTuber? Oh, any YouTuber, yeah. Any any YouTuber? Yeah. Um. Well, let's see. I I, I want to. You said top three, right? Yeah. Okay, number three. I want to say uh, Derek Barron Productions. Okay. Uh, you can look him up. Uh, he does uh, Mustang videos about his car, and he. He does a bunch of car reviews. He's really good. Yeah. His transition scenes are on point. I like watching his videos every day because he posts every day. Every day. Um, number two, I have to say uh, Fousey Tube. Okay. Uh, I like Fousey Tube's videos. His pranks are pretty funny. Um, I like what he's doing, showing uh, other YouTubers' houses on YouTube, like uh, MTV Cribs kind of thing. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. And I want to say number one. Uh, it's hard to say who my number one person is to my go-to for YouTube. I just got to say it's a tie between Lance Stewart or Tanner Fox. Okay. Or even, um, I want to say, uh, Logan Paul. I, uh, I, I like those guys' yeah. videos. Yeah, those are crazy, yeah. man. Those are, those are entertaining. Okay, give me your top three native YouTubers you follow. Okay, top three native yeah. YouTubers. Everybody on this wall, I'm not dogging anybody. Okay, I'm <laughs> dogging I just want to say everybody on this wall is worthy of the, the YouTube because I watch. I'm subscribed to all these people up here. Awesome. But, you know, I just like uh, Mikey Jr., man. I mean, this dude, I keep in contact with him. I, we, we text each other every now and then. Uh, he has my number, so this dude's pretty cool. I like his stuff. Michael Balsarek is another dude, man. Yeah, he, he's a really, really good father on his videos. Yeah. He really shows you how... A uh, father with two girls, you know, can live in a household and you can have fun and learn at home. Like, this stuff is really good. And I wouldn't say number one to anybody because we're all winning. We're all winning on this one. Yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah. Uh, what keeps you from, like, uploading, like, every day? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, probably because of my, my outside life that I have going on. Okay. Because... I, I really don't have time to do vlogs daily. And if I were to, I'd probably run out of stuff to say or do. Oh, yeah. So, um, how, yeah. How, how is it? Uh, have you had granted to any fans? You know, just like people are. Yeah, around. yeah, man. I mean, I, I, every day at the store, man, every day at the store, I run into somebody that recognized me from the YouTube channel. Usually they're from far away places, you know? So the regulars here, they already know who I am and what yeah. I do on the internet, so they're cool with me. But I was really starstruck when me and Regina, we were at uh, Tuba City Chinese Buffet and we were eating last year in November. Yeah, November. The girl that was our waitress got our drinks and she kept looking at me, right? Yeah. So I was I was like, okay, why is this girl looking at me? I was like, yeah, yeah. at me. So we sat down, we got done eating. She was shy. And she gives us the ticket, and then that's when she asks me. She goes, "Can I ask you a question?" Then I said, "Yeah." I said, "Go ahead." Then she goes, "Are you um, your boy Norm's vlogs?" Then I said, "Yeah." I said, "That's me." I said, "I'm Norman. Nice to meet you." And she goes, "Oh my gosh!" She goes, "I am shook." She <laughs> said, "I cannot believe I just served your drinks." She's all saying, "I was like, it's cool. I said, I'm it all the time." And then here she goes, "Can I have an autograph?" I was like, no. "An autograph." Are you serious? <laughs> and she goes, yeah. She goes, I, I love the videos that you put out. She's like, can I have an autograph? So she's all scared. Give me her pencil that she's doing her orders on. Yeah. So I took it, and then that's when I signed it, and then that's when I put it out to her name, and that's when I put my YouTube channel underneath it, and I gave it to her, 
and then as soon as she's all wow that's wild that's wild <laughs> so she got a picture with me when i was uh standing up and i was a full house chinese place oh, in tuba city yeah. everybody was there. everybody was looking at me they were talking and pointing at me <laughs> and that's what i had two more people come up to me they wanted pictures and i said okay because they knew the channel but they were afraid to disturb yeah. me while i was eating that's what they said yeah. i don't know if i look mean in public that's the thing but i'm not, know, I'm not mean. <laughs> and these kids they took a picture with me that watched the videos at the same time at the restaurant yeah. and this one kid busts out his phone and he's all saying, your boy in arms vlogs, how's it feel eating Chinese too much? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's good, I'm full. I said, thank you for, uh, shout out to uh, this dude right here. I saying that. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. Like, I just wanted to get out of there because I kind of felt all the pressure on my shoulders. Yeah. And it was fun. Hey, that's the most wild experience I've ever had with the fans. Dude, that's crazy, man. So how does it make you feel? Is you just like, like, well... Well, well you know, when, when, when people meet me, I just tell them I'm nobody special. I go to the same Walmart as you do. I shop at the same bashes as you do. Yeah. I'm just an everyday person like you. But since you don't see me as often, you know, how you doing? <laughs> awesome, dude. <laughs> well, okay, let's go wind this down. So I, I got a couple of questions before we end. Okay. Um, so if you um, were to talk to your, your younger self when you first started, yeah, what would you say to him? My younger self, what would I say to him? I would say, Norman, you were awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I would, I would probably just tell him, you know what? Um, don't, don't give up. You know, don't, don't lose hope. You know, because the younger Norman was all about going to college and trying to get a degree, right? Yeah. And that didn't work out so well for the younger Norman. So. I started working at Conoco, flipping burgers, dropping fries, worked my way up to where I'm at now at another store, becoming the assistant manager. And I just want to say I'm grateful for as old as I am that I got this far in life and having a nice home, nice vehicles, everything in my life with Regina that I didn't need a, a college degree, right? So I would tell the younger Norman, don't give up hope. There's always a brighter day down the future. Man, dude, that's dope, dude. That's awesome. So, so like, my next question is like, uh, so, yeah. what, what would you say to like young, you know, like people who want to break into the YouTube world? Like, how would they do it? How would they do it? Yeah, yeah. Just how, how do, how do they get started? You know? Well, that's that's a really good question right there. Um, I would say to them, you know. Well, it's kind of sound, it's going to sound cliche, but just try it, you know, that's the best thing that I could say right now, because, you know, once you start a channel, nobody knows it until it might take days, years, months, who knows. But, you know, once you have that little consistency with 200 subscribers or even 100, it's yeah. only going to go up from there because everybody's got a Snapchat, Instagram and Facebook and you don't know who's watching it. You don't know who's going to share it. Yeah. So you might be the next hit sensation. You just don't know. So just try it. Man, that's crazy. Okay, last question. Uh, what inspires you? What like, inspired yeah, me? Yeah, to, to do like YouTube and be in front of the camera. You know, that's not normal, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, what, what inspired me was that, you know, there was no, there was no native YouTuber on YouTube on online, right? Yeah. So I inspired myself to say that if I can do that, you know, what could I do out here in the reservation for the people that don't know? So I would like to say that being a native YouTuber is enough inspiration for anybody to tag along with. Even with um, Jacob James, you know, like shout out yeah. to Jacob James. We both got our tattoos right here. See that? So every time I see this tattoo, it reminds me of Jacob James because <laughs> we had lunch at Buffalo Wild Wings before we got our tattoos. He got the uh, yeah the, the, the Jumanji stripes. Or, I know he doesn't yeah. like calling it that, but the three the three things on his, his yeah, uh, arm. I call them bars. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he had he had a small following then. So he was asking me the same thing, right? And that's when I told him, I said, Jacob, man, just stay consistent, bro. You're already at a thousand subscribers. I said, you should feel pretty happy by yourself. Yeah. And he would always say, yeah, man, but you know, I'm not, 
as big as you are on the internet. I said, see, that's where you're putting yourself down. I said, just be happy with what you got. You're going to grow. Yeah. And then that's when he's, uh, we were talking the other day and he told me that I was his inspiration to get back into vlogging just because of that one video that we did. So like I said, man, you just got to be a native YouTuber. That's enough inspiration for anybody. Dude, that's dope. That's dope. Okay. So like, uh, where could people follow you on your Instagram, Snapchat? Oh, well, you can follow me on Instagram. Just my, my government name, you know, Norman Leslie Jr. Nothing fancy. Yeah. Um, my Snapchat is Norman8. Oh, I'm sorry. I see you on my old YouTube channel. Yeah. There's Norman8 there. No. <laughs> my Snapchat is Norman9595. Okay. And um, yeah, those are my social links right there. Yo, bro, awesome. Hey, thanks, Norm, dude, for sharing this insights of a native blog vlogger right now, man. I'm going to put your descriptions below this video. And um, yeah, dude, I appreciate it, man. People are going to appreciate like, with you, uh, your insights and stuff, you know? Of the YouTube yeah. world. Yeah. Thanks, man. I just want to say thank you, Stephen Tallis, for uh, having me on the video here. And um, I know Stephen, man. We used to see each other over at the store <laughs> oh, when uh, he was around. So <laughs> it's feels much more comfortable doing this. I believe you that now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. No, man. We, we kind of go back, man. I I was one of those fanboys, dude. Who was like, yo, remember that? On what to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I the, the deli manager was the yeah, man. yeah. Was, you know, he asked me, yeah. Yeah, that was, was funny, like, man. That was talent. That was awesome good <laughs> stuff, man. But uh, yeah, dude, just uh, thank you for uh, being on this podcast, man. Hopefully, you do it again. You know? No problem, man. Anytime. Thank you. Bye, man. All right, later, bro. Have a good day. Bro.